In the past, CAD modeling has been known to be a process that's time-consuming and tedious in order to get the geometry you're looking for. Wacom's primary 3D modeling devices, the Cintiq Pro Display, the ProPen 3D, and the Express Key Remote, all work together to provide a seamless modeling process that's fast and gives you maximum control. When working in SolidWorks, you can use the Wacom devices to draw napkin-style hand sketches directly in a model for early concept design. Use the devices to create highly customized sketch geometry. Build 3D solid features in rapid time. And even collaborate using markup tools that overlay hand-drawn annotations directly over the model. Let's dive into how all these devices and features can be used in SolidWorks as applied to this handheld sprayer. Here I have a new SolidWorks part showing on screen, where I can start drawing the napkin sketch for the handheld sprayer concept design. This is a great whiteboard space to sketch out ideas before modeling. I'll start a sketch on the front plane by tapping with the ProPen 3D, then selecting Sketch. Now I'm ready to start drawing. I'll use the Express Key Remote to quickly activate the SolidWorks Pen command, and you'll see the command switch over in the upper left corner of the screen. I'll quickly check that all the Auto Sketch tools here at the top are turned off, so I'm just drawing brush strokes. From here, I can draw directly on screen. The first part of the sketch will be the canister body, which I'll represent with a rectangle. I'll also draw the head of the applicator as a rectangle where the mechanisms will connect, which will have an upside down U shape as a mounting point for the linkage. The tube for the sprayer nozzle will extend out from here. and there'll be a pump mechanism at the bottom that's shaped like an upside down T. I wanna mention that the Cintiq Pro Display allows you to rest your hand on the screen with as much pressure as you'd like. As I've been sketching, the underside of my hand has been resting on the screen while holding the pen. You never have to worry about your hand getting in the way. Next, I wanna draw the nozzle tip which I'll change to blue to make it stand out. First, I'll make sure that the rectangle I just drew isn't selected by using the Express Key Remote to press Escape a couple times. Then select the blue color from the pen drop-down menu. Now I can draw the nozzle, which is also a rectangle. Next, I'll draw the linkage and the lever that the user will squeeze. I'll switch the brush to be green. Increase the size just a little bit to make the green brush strokes bolder. Then draw the linkage horizontally at the top. And draw a circle for the pin connector. I'll also draw the lever attached to the linkage which has a curved shape here for the handle. And add two more circles for pin connectors. To finish the napkin sketch, I'll draw the spring shown in red. I'll switch the color, decrease the size a bit, and draw the spring. With this concept sketch complete, I can remain right inside the SolidWorks software to continue from the concept sketching phase directly into solid modeling. There's no need to change software or workspace. For convenience, I'll skip ahead to show you the 3D sprayer model overlaid on top of an improved concept sketch. With the new concept sketch showing, I'll make sure to show the 3D model by holding Control on the Express Key Remote tapping the folder and trigger to select them, then tapping on Show. I'll hold the large button on the ProPen 3D to rotate the model and show you more of the 3D geometry. The middle button on the side of the ProPen 3D also helps with navigation. 
pressing and holding it pans the model on screen, keeping it at the same angle. You can also zoom on screen using the same button. While keeping the button held down, press the pen tip to the screen and drag up and down to zoom to the view you'd like. For now, I'll press this button on the Express Key remote to switch back to the front view. While most of the 3D geometry has already been created, I want to work on the final part of this design, which is creating the ergonomic handle here that the user squeezes. This will be done by lofting between two sketches at each end, which will follow along a custom hand-drawn path as a guide curve. First, I'll need to create the sketch at the lower end, which can be done quickly and intuitively using the ProPen 3D to create all the sketch entities. I'll expand the trigger component, then edit the sketch handle bottom. I'll isolate this component in the assembly, then switch to a normal two view by pressing this key on the Express Key remote. Now I can start sketching. I'll press this key to switch to the line command, then tap the pen on screen to position the start and end points of the horizontal line. Now I can auto transition to an arc by hovering back over the end of the line, then place the arc and continue by tapping the end point of each line into place and finishing with one last arc. As you saw, it's simple and easy to draw sketch entities on screen with the added control of the ProPen 3D. Now I'll create thin geometry by adding an overlapping rectangle and trimming away sketch entities. This time I'll switch to the pen command, make sure auto sketch entities is turned on, and draw the rectangle overlapping on screen. With the sketch entity still selected, I can write a dimension value in the graphics area to set the width of the rectangle. I'll write 12, and the dimension is quickly added on the fly without having to switch commands. Switching back to the Select tool, I can drag the shaded area of the rectangle to reposition it. Now I can trim away geometry by enabling the Trim command using this key on the Express Key remote. Now I'll simply drag the pen tip over the sketch segments I want to remove, deleting each one as I drag the tip of the pen using the Power Trim option. Dimensions can also be added to existing sketches with ease while using the ProPen 3D and the Express Key remote. I can press this customized button on the Express Key remote to enable the Smart Dimension command, then tap on each sketch entity I want to dimension. To add the numerical value, I can bring up Wacom's keypad by pressing this button I customized on the remote. And I can tap on the number values on screen. I'll tap on 1 and 5 to enter a dimension of 15. Then tap the Enter key, which completes the dimension. Now I can continue adding other dimensions. I'll tap the top line and one of the lines on the bottom. And enter a value of 5 on the keypad. From here, I'll skip ahead to the finished symmetric sketch with all dimensions and constraints included. With these sketch entities and dimensions easily created using the ProPen 3D and the Express Key Remote, I'll exit the sketch and move on to creating the guide curve. I'll switch back to the front view in the assembly. And start the new sketch on the top plane of the trigger component. The guide curve will be created by hand drawing a pen path on screen which can be auto-converted into a custom spline. This is one of the best tools for creating custom curves that matches exactly the path you draw on screen. To draw it, I'll enable the pen command using the Express Key Remote, and make sure that the Auto Spline tool is turned on in the Sketch Ink tab. Now I can draw the curve I want, which will have two hills that stick out in the curvature that follows the general outline of the concept sketch. If the sketch doesn't automatically convert to a spline, simply tap the Convert to Spline command from the context menu that appears. 
One of the best aspects of working with splines is using the Display Control Polygon option to edit the curvature. I'll right-click on the spline by pressing this button on the ProPen 3D, then selecting Display Control Polygon. Now I can use the pen tip to drag the control points on screen to easily manipulate the curvature. I'll drag a couple of them to refine the curve, which gives me the result I like. By moving these points with the pen, I was able to quickly get the curvature I was looking for with maximum control over the sketch entity. Now I'll make sure that the guide curve has pierce relations that connect it to each sketch profile at the ends of the loft. To make this easier, I'll use Zoom to Area by dragging the pen over the top part of the sketch, rotate a bit, select the edge of the top sketch, then hold Control using the remote and tap on the end of the spline and select Make Pierce. I'll do the same at the bottom. I'll zoom in. Select the line on the sketch, then hold Control and select the end point of the spline and add the pierce relation. At this point, the loft feature can be created. I'll exit the sketch and enable the loft command by pressing this key on the Express Key Remote, which I've grouped with other solid features on the right column of keys. From here, all I do is tap on the sketch profile at the top, then tap on the corresponding sketch segment on the bottom, and the loft preview is generated. Of course, I want to incorporate the guide curve to get the shape I'm looking for. I'll tap on the guide curves group box and tap on the spline in the graphics area. This immediately updates the loft geometry, which is a much more ergonomic design with added finger control for squeezing the trigger. I'll tap the green check to complete the loft. This custom trigger geometry was created intuitively using custom curves drawn by the ProPen 3D directly in the model. By switching between sketch commands and solid features without a single press on the Express Key remote, I was able to move through the entire concept design of this trigger without putting down the pen. This makes for a much more immersive design experience where you have direct control over the model. To finish up, I want to show you some convenient markup tools that can be used for collaboration. To access the markup commands, go to the Evaluate tab and enable Markup View. This immediately activates the pen command where I can draw on screen to point out aspects of the design. I'll change the color to red in this dropdown and circle the trigger geometry I was just working on. I can also add text to clarify what should be pointed out. I can tap here to add note, place it on screen, and type my comment such as make curves a little more gentle. This text can also be colored in red to match, and the font can be adjusted as well, such as making it bold. Now, if I complete the markup view, it remains on screen. However, if I rotate the model, it becomes transparent and will disappear when viewing from another angle. Don't worry, you can always rotate back until it becomes more solid and it reappears. Now, if a different collaborator wanted to add a comment, another markup view could be added in a different color. I'll enable the command again, switch the color to blue, Draw an arrow pointing to this point on the trigger. Sketch on top of the trigger to give a better idea of the curvature. And add a note. I'll type, this curve will be softened, which will also be in blue.
after a view is created, you can always orient to any of them by right-clicking and selecting Orient. This makes sure you're looking directly at the markup view in the model so the annotations are properly aligned. As you could imagine, any number of collaborators and designers can add their markup notes and direct attention to get an exact point on the model. These custom annotations will get the job done, making possible using custom drawings and shapes overlaid right on top of the 3D geometry. The steps shown in creating this model are merely a fraction of the benefits you gain when using the Wacom Cintiq Pro Display alongside the ProPen 3D and the Express Key Remote. Using them in tandem provides you maximum modeling efficiency and control, where you can take your design from napkin-style concept sketches all the way through 3D modeling and into design review. Imagine what all these tools could do for your designs.